Hello, my name is David. Here's another tutorial on Unreal Engine 4. Today I'll show you how to create a smooth camera reset button. So when you press the button, the camera in a third person system will smoothly transition to be behind the player. If you watched my previous tutorial on third person cameras, you know how to instantly reset the camera, which can be a bit challenging for the player. So we want to change that to a smooth transition. If you did my previous tutorial, you can build right upon that. If you didn't, just use the third person blueprint template that comes with Unreal Engine 4. So let's begin. First, we need to define a button. In Edit, go to Project Settings. Well, to the left, there's Input and Key Bindings. We want to add an action mapping here. So open that. You see Jump is already there. We want to add a cam reset mapping. There's no buttons assigned, so add action mapping. Open that. We want to have two. So the middle mouse button and the gamepad right thumbstick. Okay. Now in your content browser, go to blueprints and find the my character blueprint and double click to open it. This is basically all the logic used to control your character. Um, and we want to add to that. So basically what we want to do is find the rotation of the, the character, so the mesh, and find the rotation of the camera, get the delta between them to know how much we need to rotate. And then in every tick, apply a part of that rotation to the camera. So, first let's start by getting the rotation from the character. By right clicking you can open the blueprint menu and just type mesh and you can get the mesh from the character and then from this mesh you can get, rota get world rotation. Great. <coughs> that should be everything we have to do to get the rotation of the mesh. Get control rotation easily gives us the rotation of the camera. To get the delta between those two, there's a delta rotator node, which is pretty handy. And um, again, like in the last tutorial on cameras, if you watched it, we only want to rotate by the yaw component. So the pitch would be looking up and down, and we don't want the camera to be, you know, like 1.8 meters above the floor. We don't we don't care if it's looking down on the on the character and the player likes it that way. We want to keep that, we want to only want to adjust the yaw. So let's break the rotation. And then we can only use the yaw component here. Okay, great. This is now the number of degrees in positive or negative direction that we have to apply to the camera to um, rotate it in place. Note that we can't just get the yaw value of each and kind of subtract them because um, you wouldn't end up with positive or negative values, but you could end up with crap like 240 degree, which would rotate the camera around the wrong, in the wrong direction. Okay, now how do you want to do that? Normally we would just use the event we just created, input action, what's it called, cam reset. Cam reset, and then when pressed, do something. So if we wanted to instantly reset, we could use an add controller yaw input node, which does exactly what it says on the tin, and uh, just could connect it up. So instantly add all the yaw to the camera, which is not what we want. We want to add a small portion of it in every frame. So let's break that link and um, use a tick event. We get the delta seconds for each frame. So let's add a, let's add a multiply node here, float by float. We want to multiply the yaw by the delta in seconds. So we can connect that up and add a pin. Um, I want to 
create a variable here. Let's call it cam rotation rate or something. This variable can then be used to control the rate of the camera. Okay, now if we connected that up, the camera would always reset, which is not what we want. Um, so we'll add a ver another variable here, click on plus V up here, and add a new bool, and let's call this cam is resetting. This bool just stores whether the camera is currently resetting. So when we press the button, we want to set cam is resetting to true. What we want to do here is only if cam is resetting is true, then reset the camera. Um, hold B and click. That's a quick way to get a branch node. And let's get a new condition. Cam is resetting. If cam is resetting is true, let's add controller your input. You know, with cam rotation rate, everything multiplied. So let's compile. Nothing happens. What did I do wrong? Um, okay, we need to set a default value for cam rotation rate, which is basically zero. So let's put this to one. Check again. Well, it does something. It rotates somewhere, but it seems to be rotated by 90 degree. Um, I don't know where this comes from, actually. I think it's a problem with the with the mesh that the Henry guys delivered because it isn't X forward but Y forward or something. But it's no problem. We just need to rotate the world rotation. So let's make a rotation. Uh, yaw 90 degree and combine rotators. So we now rotate the rotation of the mesh by 90 degree. I'll compile, save, check it again. That looks better. Okay, now we need to define a condition to set chemist resetting to false again. Um, let's just check whether the yaw is pretty close to where we want to be. And if so, then just, you know, set it to false. So let's use an absolute node first, because the yaw, as I said, can be positive or negative. We don't care. And um, use a smaller than node. If it's smaller than, I don't know, one or two degree, you can play around with that value. If so, we want another branch. If so, we want to set cameras resetting to false. Okay, let's connect it up with this thing. So that should work. Let's try it out. Okay, it's a bit too slow for me, so you might want to adjust the cam rotation rate, uh, maybe to two. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So what happens now if you move the mouse while the cam is resetting? You can um, really mess it up. <laughs> so that's not good. Now there are various approaches how to tackle this problem. Um, I actually tried it out in some games. Well, let's first select that and comment it. Smooth cam reset. So we got that. Oops, we got that down. <clears throat> I actually tried it out in some games. Um, Dark Souls, which was, which pretty much spawned the idea of implementing this system. Uses uh, a very easy way 
it just disables your input from the mouse or the gamepad when cam is, when the camera is resetting. So here is the mouse input, which adds control to your input always. We just want to add a branch here, and only if our condition is true, um, or if our condition is false, because we want to check cam is resetting. If the cam is not resetting, we want to add a your input. Okay, now what I can do, I can't add any your input. What I can do is still move the camera up and down because it doesn't matter for our cam reset. But I can't move the mouse as long as the camera is resetting. Okay, that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something and see you next time.